Hello, Earth Angels. Namaste. Today, I want to share with you what I know about borrowed faith. Faith can move mountains. It is okay when you are tired, disappointed, brokenhearted to admit to yourself that you cannot pray. I'm not different than you. I always remind myself I have my days where I'm sad or disappointed or even feeling broken. The minute I know my life purpose, I remind myself with my life purpose. And the second my subconscious mind starts gratitude to the universe of Almighty God, I immediately transform to a better happy place like every time I see you. I don't call it a problem, I call it a situation. When you are broken hearted, reach out to your friends and ask them to pray for you. Same time, when you know in your heart, in your mind, the intention and the intuition, look around in the world, in the universe, amongst your friends, among your family, strangers that you don't even know who needs prayers. This is what is known as borrowed faith, where he or she around the world thinks that their world is falling apart and they don't even have one inch of joy in their heart anymore and they don't even have the breath or the power to reach out for Almighty God that they know in their heart already that God is beautiful and magnificent, omnipresent everywhere. When we form a circle of prayers, it could be in different countries, it could be in one country, this is called collective prayers borrowed faith just like the old ancient human nature when they used to pray for rain when they used to pray for abundance where they used to pray for healing almighty god has already dispatched angels all over the universe and angels by the way always intervene in safety how many times around the world you have seen an accident in front of you and with a miracle you were not involved or the same accident itself shifted and nobody died this is the intervention of angels yes they do intervene in safety but to invite angels into our daily life the same angels that almighty god dispatched for us we are to have the humility, the humbleness, the purity at heart, and the intentions to look out there who needs prayers. And let that person know you are not alone in that situation. Lift them up, reassure them, give them a hug if they are next to you. Talk to all your friends that you know and form a specific time on a day where all of you, if you're not together, can join with prayers, collective prayers. This is what is known as distant healing or multi-dimensional frequency of a vibration. We all have an aura that has magnetic field that has been proven by science. What we feel dictates how we behave and our patterns. And when we have the intention to pray as a group for others, immediately this magnetic field emits a frequency. The frequency emits a vibration. The whole universe communicates via vibration and vibrational frequency. So imagine what type of beautiful, humble, humble, grounded power that you have with prayers and what energy you are emitting and transcending across the universe to the other person who's broken hearted or feeling failure or feeling it is the end of the world. 
I call it a situation that we all can gather around with borrowed faith. And rest assured, faith can move mountains from this moment on. Start praying for each other so that we all live happily ever after. Namaste.